so it's five nine per month just to support our local um you Here's know try to for our monthly pr production also do matcherino m-a-t-c-h-e-r-i-n-o in the chat for saga on the fifth yeah do it also, VODs on YouTube instantly. So anyway, yeah. here's the finals. Zama going the um, just going Lucina and Doug, of course, just going with uh, with Steve as usual. And Zama kind of getting cooked right now with the Steve. And uh, unfortunately, Steve does have a really big arsenal against someone like Lucina, who's very close range. Yeah. Opts to really use her the uh, her sword more often than anything else. And D Dog has Minecart, has TNT, has Bimbo Bambo Shambo, like lots of stuff at his disposal. Wow, that's funny. Okay. Nice, nice frame one. Uh, I mean, not nice, nice there, uh, Spike. Good DI there by Zamba. Interesting pick with the with Lucina. I I'm guessing D Dog is just super familiar with the Rob, so maybe just trying to work on it. That's hey! yeah. That's um. Hi Goober seven hundred seven. That's yeah, thanks for following. Yeah, that's one big thing with uh D Dog and Zamba. D Dog does know that Rob matchup a little too well. Right. And Zamba does simply just kind of go secondaries. Um. And winners, and I'm assuming with D Dog as well, just because they play so often together. Yeah. And taking that first stock with the up throw, uh, and Zamba taking it right back. Love that. Love yeah, that for Zamba you guys. Zamba responding real quick at the forward air. Oh, but watch out. Here comes D Dog with those combos. All right. Again, I'm loving that everyone, uh, right, a, a good majority of our players are actually opting to use, um, to interrupt D Dog's inter in in a mission for gaining diamond. Once again, we don't have diamond. Oh, do we? I think he cast. Yeah, he did. Just in time. That was but so But it did not matter. <laughs> it did not matter. That forward air and then into the, the dare to cover uh, Steve rolling mm -hmm. was pretty nuts. And then just the back air to clean up the rest of the job. That was awesome. This was Cena looking crisp. I mean, Staten Island's very own Proto Banner? Excuse me? <laughs> Proto? Did Proto? you move? Hello? Why would you win Staten the Island? Min -min. Where is it? No, Where's, not like no, this. No, no, the no. Zom -zom. Please. Oh god. The Zom Zom. Oh, god. The Bubba. Well, I don't want <laughs> the I Bubba. don't want to ever say that again. The Bubba. We it's got okay. we got Zom Cena though. There we go. <laughs> we got Zom Cena. I like that. The fi the thing is that Lucina is such a fundies character. Yeah. Um alongside you know Marth Marcina, Luz Luz Marth, like whatever. Um both very funniest characters. Now, and you're really seeing that like Zama knows how to play like the roster and he does not mind like showing yeah. y'all like yo, I know how to play this game. Now, I'm not just like Rob Funny Cheese. And D-Dog is, of course, just trying to keep it up with this. This is really a match of like, you know, what can you do as Steve with the arsenal you have, whereas Zamba has to really work a little bit harder to get the kills that he is looking for, especially because you're racking up damage on him as we speak. I feel like with Lucina's floatiness too, she's doing a good job of jumping over the minecart whenever D Dog's throwing it out, and then punishing because mm -hmm. she has so much drift, right? As, yeah. she, as she floats through. So it's very interesting to see how Zamba is playing this. But Zamba looking very well in control. Lucina definitely has been leveling up over the past few weeks. Yeah, I'm really glad to see it. Yeah. I think the first time I at least saw the, the Lucina in competitive play was at Low Tech City. He tried pulling it out against Meister, and then boom, getting the up air to get it done. But something interesting about that, though, What's up? Meister, or I'm sorry, Game & Watch in particular, always trying to come back down to stage with the downer, right? Yep. Perhaps, you know, even though Steve doesn't follow with the anvil con con consistently, the threat of being able to counter that and that staying open for so long could potentially catch D-Dog as he's trying to follow the anvil to hit with the back air or something like that. So. Um... I'm not sure if Anvil counts as its own, like, entity. I mean, it does, but I'm not sure if it counts towards the counter mm. as its own entity. Like, oh, if you gotcha. ref if you counter the Anvil as coming down, will it, like, sit, like will DW be fine because he's on top of the, of the Anvil, or will right. he be hit as well? That's the only thing I don't know. Right, Kind of with, with Game Watch down there, he's, like, there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's what with is, the key. What is your question? No, so so uh, he was mentioning like when uh, when Zama played Lucina versus Meister, and Meister does you know game watch down air to come back to stage faster. Steve does the same thing, but with Anvil, and I was wondering if Counter will still hit Steve even though he's on top of the Anvil and not actually like, like the Lucina's, Anvil. Uh, counter, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, her swing's kind of in front of her, so like True. it would have to be uh, it would have to be a downer that wasn't like directly above her. Probably, yeah. right. I'm sure she does like a big swing and it does go. Up. Like, I don't know. I, and it I mean, stays can, out there just, for a while, no? Yeah. 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 I so I, I'm assuming that he probably would get hit, but I'm not sh for sure, for sure. I wonder if that played at all into the idea of picking Lucina, besides the Rob familiarity, but 
Also, you got to work on your secondaries too as much as you can. So D Dog mm -hmm. being a really high level. Ste oh, that's <gasps> oh, you. you're you're bold. Yo, <laughs> you're braver than me. These I was kids shielded. from Staten Island are built different. I'm just gonna spot dodge the uh, neutral B. It hits pretty decently above it, but it's still above and forward. Okay, so it's oh. not directly above. Okay, so, okay. So yeah. so Steve could not get hit by it sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes I sense. see. And like if you did it on either side, like she auto turns around. Oh, right. Because right, right. that's how counters work. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Counter. Counter funny. True. D Dog, thank you for not completing the rest of those blocks. We appreciate you here. We're a family friendly channel. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Lucina. I just ignore it. Getting grabs, doing the thing. That's one thing, too, that's really valuable about. Never mind. Nothing valuable. You're just gonna get sent to. We were talking about how Lucina's up B is like pretty good or something like that. Yeah, like up B out of shield is solid, but I was just yeah. saying like Lucina's conversions off grab are pretty pretty good too. Oh, I, I think doing up B out of shield against Steve in this situation would be really dangerous. Mm, yeah. Just because of the high risk or high risk you you take right. for the reward of you know the. And she doesn't fall down that quickly. That's after too. the up B. And you're in free fall and you're like high. Yeah. And Steve has so much at his disposal just to deal with that at once. I was not right. being the, the biggest um, c culprit. And yeah, that my card is doing wonders for D Dog. And D Dog is suddenly a stock lead against Samba. Uh, yeah. I think that also going on PS2 rather than you know small battlefield or anything like that was, is really favoring D Dog in terms of his playstyle and in terms mm -hmm. of just Steve as a character in general. I mentioned it earlier where D Dog can really play with his food on the stage. Right. And Lucina kind of has to hold that. Yeah, for sure. That's 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 <laughs> funny. That's funny. He said, "I'm gonna hit you with this raw up smash real quick." So D Dog still had like invincibility. Zamo ran up to him to, to do something, and D Dog interrupted mining to pull out a magma block. I respect it. That was smart. How quickly can Steve get out of the animation when he's building? I think something? it's instant. Yeah. If you do Dang. anything else, like if you. Yeah. If, if you, you just if input you, it the up smash, it's mm -hmm. just wow. If you, like, I think to my to craft, it's like you press like one button, and then like while he's doing that, you're pretty much open to like shield to instantly. Yeah. Um, there's no like unlike hero who if you cancel menu, he has like a little bit of delay before he can like do anything again. So right. you know it's, it's whatever I guess. The Rob coming out mm -hmm. now from Zamba. Yeah, Zamba, and, Zamba doesn't want to lose. Yeah, <laughs> he's like I'm not trying to go on this ferry home and have to hear D Dog chirping at me. I hear that. Funly, friendly That's when you competition. go by yourself. That's when you go by yourself. Yeah. You go home by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> he does that to, his, like, to himself, bro. Definitely a bunch of competitiveness between these two, right? That was funny. All right. I, I, I get it. Zamba, I don't think you can match out that in time because of how high percentage he was. And, you know, D-Dog just, just followed him with the up smash when he did get out of it. D-Dog is so good at landing all of these follow-ups after he gets that initial hit. Mm -hmm. And as Steve, you really got to get those down to have your, you know, have your results rise to prominence. Biggest thing with Steve in general is that a lot of his um, usual incoming moves, i.e. minecart, mm -hmm. do open up opportunity for easy follow-ups because you are stationary in that minecart. You have nowhere to go. You have yeah. to mash out of it. And you're always, when you mash out, you always go up in the same direction. Um, you can't really change the trajectory of your jump out of the minecart. So yeah, D-Dog has very free options after that that uh I that match a, that minecart. I need an anguish scream uh, sound effect for when you get caught by the minecart. Every single <laughs> just time the, would just be just like the on fire sound of the <laughs> like just as you're getting carried away. Maybe I'll like make it like lower in volume, meaning like you're being taken away like <laughs> But like it would but, like, like every single time because that's what every C does. Yeah. Every two seconds. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That, that's the homework. You gotta go find that. I was about to say, Devin, you might as well just record yourself doing that exact sound. Yeah, honestly, I should. Change yeah. the voice, you know, do a little bit of voice modulation. What's the little sound little wild. sound, the little like, scream used to have? It's like, uh, ah. The toad scream. I don't think the toad scream would have, would have the, the same energy uh, that you need for the... The, uh, the minecart kidnapping. <laughs> you know? I, the minecart kidnapping. I think... I do need to bring it back. Yeah, no, you I, do, I, you, I keep you, promising I that it. I'll bring it back every week. And then you forget. And then I forget. Uh, but, you know, next week for sure. If next week <laughs> for sure. I miss him. I miss Toad Scream. Yeah, I, I, I miss Toad It was screaming. so good. <laughs> Who's playing Toad in the Mario movie? Not Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh jeez! Nice, nice win on uh, for D Dog against against was, was what was that? 
Someone was like, I don't care, man. I don't I don't care I don't care if you won. <laughs> Listen to my zombo voice. I have a voice for everybody. <laughs> I was about to say, was that your impersonation? Of course. Very nice. Well, this was a D Dog just sort of ran away with it. Oh, Keeping up with him. the momentum uh, of game two, just realizing like, hey, look, you're gonna go to your main, you're gonna sweat right now, you're gonna try hard against me, but I still got something for you. Eat this minecart, eat this up smash. That was good. Yeah. That was a really solid start to that to that last set. Yeah. But um, like I was say, like the the thing with like the Mario movie in general oh, yeah. is like I don't I like everyone as the voice actors they are, except mm -hmm. for like especially Chris Pratt. Um, yeah, that. Kinda... But I understand why they didn't choose the original Mario voice because he's still alive. He's he's, he's alive and well. I I know why they didn't choose. Like the choose... gentleman from the '80s movie. Yeah. No. 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 Oh. Like like Charles. Let's oh, go. Like him, Charles. Oh, yeah. Actual Mario. Actual oh, Mario. Mario. I know why they didn't do it. Like he's not a celebrity. Well, <laughs> one and two. You need to sell those ticks. Sell it like like Mario talking like that the ent for an entire like an hour and a half movie might like drive me crazy. What if yeah. Mario didn't have speaking lines? What if what if he just went? Mamma mia! That'd be really, but if they did that, be really funny, and they, they should really. use him for that. They could but do the. He's uh, gonna speak. Oh, what is it? They do the uh, the Mario and Luigi, uh, the Mario and Luigi series wow. where he's like, no, where he goes, uh, <laughs> just like you know, just complete gibberish. It's like complete like gibberish.